Hi, and welcome. We're the Weasley Sisters. This is episode 92. I wasn't sure if you changed it. <laughs> um, I'm Jessica, a.k.a. Naturally Nitty. And I'm Alina, a.k.a. Starnets. Today is November 19th. Um, yes. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time watching, thank you. If, if you're a returning listener, we're never going to get any better at this. Nope. You're stuck with us like this. <laughs> <laughs> so deal with it. <laughs> um, so grab your knitting and craft along with us as we chat. Um, so, mojo? No mojo. I have a little bit of mojo. I made another market bag, which I'm like almost done finalizing the pattern for everyone. Oh, sweet. Did you need me to check that again? Because I didn't. I might. I I, I want to wait till I got to take pictures of all the different like um, handle options. Um, this one I made starting with the brown and I ran out, so I just switched to teal and I like it very much. I this do one like has, that one. Um, two shorter handles. Question. Answer. What yarn did you use? This yarn is, I love this yarn okay. from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have a bunch left over from the blanket, the traveling blanket I did. So. Oh, yeah. So it's acrylic, it's washable, um, and it's, it's a bit thicker than, um, I would call it more Aran than uh, worsted weight, but whatever. Um, so yeah, cute, done. Um, I think I like didn't put my handles on correctly. One's like, they're kind of not the same, but whatever. I don't care. You're inspiring it, me to actually make some. They go really fast. If, um, if you use the right needle and yarn combination, they turn out the right size. Well, I put, um, the gauge on that pattern too now, oh, and it was 10.5s for sure. Um. And I think I, I added a few different things. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Unless, I guess I can consider, I'm, I'm weaving in ends on my socks. Sweet. They're inside out. But here's one. Those are like almost blinding. They're so great. That's really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I dropped my phone again. No wonder it doesn't work properly. Thank goodness for cases. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine's like breaking all apart here. Look. I've like broken from here to here off. Oh. It's also my second case. <laughs> I'm hard uh, on my phones. You and, are purposefully breaking it so you can get an iPhone though, aren't you? No, I have to wait till March. Oh, that sucks. Anyways. That's it for finished objects for me. Okay, works in progress. What are you currently working on? Currently, I am working on minute. I finished the sleeves and I picked up for the button band. And I believe I have to count my rows, but I believe I can bind off. Awesome. And I will be done. Well, then I have to block it and put the buttons on. But, um, it's a big, I mean, it's hard because I have, like, the button band all on one needle right here. Yeah. But look. That looks really nice. Sweater-ish. Sweater awesome. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Um. Dude, that's the name of our new, our podcast. Sweater awesome? Swassum. Swassum. <laughs> I like it. Um, so yeah. Taking up words every day. Though, <laughs> I have to say, for this pattern, and maybe it was just me, but the way they said to do the button holes was not working out. I almost never follow what the pattern says. Like, I oh, followed it, like, because they, they had you, like, bind off. I don't know. I could read it to you, but I'm not going to. And then, like, do the cable cast on thing. But, like, your yarn, like, 
like say here's the bind off section your yarn came from here and then you added them on here so then there's like it just didn't have a hole it had like yarn through it and it was not so I just went and looked up a buttonhole I and it was way easy no buttonhole because I think it makes the most finished look what do you do the one row buttonhole I think that um I think it's from the Yarn Harlots blog, maybe? Okay. Someone's blog. But basically, you, like, bind off, but you don't use your yarn to bind them off. You slip it? Yeah. That's what I did. Um, I don't know yeah, if you so can see. Yeah, that's the one-row buttonhole. Yeah, and it's, like, finished. You don't have to do anything to it when you're done. Yeah, it looks really nice, and um, so I did, it's a three-stitch one over three stitches. So... Yeah, and I think I'll have time if I can find that ribbon. Shoot. Um, that green ribbon that I bought to line the back of the button. The other side where, where the buttons attach. Um, so yeah, I'm excited um, that I'm actually finished early. Or going to That's be... That's your newt, right? Yeah, this is my newt. But, like... My week starts to get crazy in a little bit with the whole ladies brunch thing. So my goal was to finish it early, which is my on time, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, what else? Well, I showed you my order mission. I actually blocked it. I linked to Instagram that shows pictures of it. Um, I still need to have pictures taken with my camera so I can turn it in, which I'm hoping to do this afternoon. Yeah, because it's due. I know. I still have a couple days, though, right? It's the, 23rd, the 23rd, I think, is the last. Yeah. Um, so let's see. What else? I already talked about my socks. Oh. And then I started another market bag. Um, how many do you have to make? How many? I don't know. I'm just keep making them. So I just started with the teal. That's it. Um. Okay. I have lots of things that I'm working on. So I'm currently still working on this baby sweater. It's super cute. And I realized about here that I was doing the pattern a little bit different up here than down here, but I still think it looks okay. Oops. <laughs> but I think, like, a non, anyone but me won't notice it, if that makes sense. It looks okay, though. So, I did just little crochet things, and let me find the buttons. For I button. looked through my button box, and I was thinking of using these cute buttons. Those are cute. But, um, the mom is a little girly. Not a little. She's like, of course she's a girl. But she's like, likes the girly things because she has two boys. So I thought that these would be too boyish. Okay. Because she has two boys already. And this is their first girl. Mm -hmm. So then I was looking through my buttons and I found this. It's like a plain teal, but I don't know if you can see that. It's got little flowers on it. Yeah, it's like, like a flower relief on it. That's cute. And I had two of them. And so, I, I mean, it doesn't match exactly, but I thought it would, like... That's cute. Know, look okay. And I only did two buttons because I only had two of those buttons, too. So that's why there's only two buttons. But I thought it would look all right, you know, just as an overthink. And I have to do... I'm going to make the sleeves a little bit longer because I have some fabric and time left over to do that. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm, I want to try and finish that this week. Okay. So then I have, um, my lentilla, if I can get it out of my bag. I thought you were going to, um, I know I have it and I really like knitting it. And I like the yarn. So what I'm going to do is frog it. And I looked on my person's thing and they said they didn't mind if the yarn was caked. 
So what I'm going to do is run it through my yarn caker again. I just ripped the... Did you see that? I ripped them out. I did not see that. So... Done. I'm frogging. She's frogging okay. it. And throwing it. And putting it over there. So I am going to show you next. I have like a pile of stuff. Like I can't not start stuff right now it seems. And I can't finish stuff either. So um, my order mission, I'm going to take pictures of it and call it a day. Oh, because... Yeah. And just turn in my, because I'm about, it's like at my waist. high waist. So I'm about 50% of it. I'm not going to finish it in time. There's no possible way unless I grow four more hands, which isn't going to happen. There's no gene therapy or anything going on. So, yeah, but it's work. It's really a nice pattern. And and they want you to decrease for the waist shaping every six rows. But mm -hmm. I remember I knit a couple of inches first, and then I'm doing it every 12 rows for their, their decreases. So just because that works better. So, yeah, but I, I really like how it's turning out, and I really, really want to finish it. But I'm not going to finish it in time for... The order mission deadline I was like too bad the order mission deadline isn't after Thanksgiving because we're driving 12 hours of driving I would have totally had it done yeah well you can work so, on your newt then yeah well and I think if they have a detention owl again this next term I think I'm gonna try for it because I have so many unfinished objects that I need to finish for detention yeah so that is one thing then I have my um, newt, which I actually haven't touched. In Is a that while. starting to worry you at all? No, like I said, twelve hours of knitting, not worry too much. Sure. Um, that is another reason why I'm gonna call it a day on my order mission and focus on my newt. And then, as if that wasn't enough. Today I started, because I had to frog the shawl I was making for my swap partner, I um, started a pair of fingerless mitts for her. This is just the first row. I have to join it to in the round to work it. It's a crocheted. The pattern is called Harvest Hands. And there was like a bunch of talk about it in my uh, nest. And they said it goes really fast. Cool. So we'll see. Because I have like a week to finish it. So I'm using my um, Dueling Club Ron versus Hermione Ron yarn. And you'll have to tell me if it looks good because I don't like orange so much that I just can't stand. I don't like, I think it looks horrible. Like seriously, I'm, I was looking at this and I'm like, oh. But I think that's because I don't like orange. It's bright. It's bright. I know. I'll have but, to see as you get a little further in how it looks. Yeah. So I think she'll like it. And that's all. I just lost my crochet hook. That's all that I'm working on currently. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Look Are at my sure? crochet hook. I love this one. That one's pretty. Anyways, but that's all I'm working on right now. I think I'll have time. No. Um, so that's it. All right. I got to find my list of things. Next up is spinning. Spinning. You spin me right round. I'm not spinning. I spun a little bit more. I didn't bring it down again. Um, on the alchemy fibers, um, it's for a class, so I will finish it. Hopefully. Um, that's about it. <laughs> like, Okay. Moving on. Weaving? Um, none. No weaving. Sewing? Um, I haven't, like, sewn. I did stuff related to sewing, but I haven't done any actual sewing, so no. Okay. Jim. I we like, like just, like, moving on down the line. 
I worked out today. Yay. I didn't work out at all last week, so I to totally failed big time. That's all right. I failed too. I didn't make my goal last week. Well, here's my thing. I didn't work out cardio knitting wise, but at my show, it was in an old neighborhood school, three stories. So we had to go up stairs carrying the display and everything. So going up the stairs, we made about, you know, five or six trips up and down. Yeah. And then packing up made a bunch more. Well, not a bunch more, but like packing up because we went down, packed up stuff, came up, you know. Yeah. So like, and it was upstairs and there was no elevator. And my legs seriously got to work out. <laughs> For real. Like so much that like I weigh myself on uh, s Sundays. But I don't generally go by weight because sometimes your clothes fit better. Mm -hmm. But it said I lost like two pounds. So. That's awesome. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's like true or not. So, but I'll take it. But that's, you know, so that's it. There was a lot of people who failed this past week. It must have been a busy week. It's, it's getting to the holiday season and like you have to start doing other things and we'll start thinking about that and plan accordingly life gets busy yeah i backed my goal for this week down to two and i didn't yeah. even work out yesterday or today so i better get my butt in gear <laughs> yeah i worked out i said i'm gonna do three again but i worked out today and it was very slow because i'm tired like seriously i was so tired on Saturday and when I got home at like 8 we went to bed at like 9 30 and I was like asleep like that fast should and we just move on to random randomness oh, and yeah. you can talk and... about your show okay so the Indie Knit and Spin was a to total amount of fun I met like some really great people um my mother-in-law came and helped me with it it was okay. really nice and it was like um like I said it was in old school so it was like straight up and downstairs That's awesome. but it was fun it like reminded me of do you remember um the school we went to in new york when we lived in new york you might have been in just kindergarten cca yeah oh a tiny bit not it was kind of like that where there's like it's just like an old school in the middle of a neighborhood okay but it was a lot smaller so it reminded me of that, like the bathrooms and everything. I felt like I was in school again. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Um, but, yeah. So, like, preparing for it, I I finished all my sewing like I was wanting to. And then I had all my, like, um, ironing and stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Excuse me, because I, but basically what I did was I ironed the yarn, the box bags, and like packed them square, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that the creases, because normally when I store them, I fold them, because when I ship them, I fold them too. Um, but so that they looked boxy. So like we had like a ton of bags in boxes, and they were like really light boxes. And then I um, totally made my kids work. I told them they could go outside and play, or they could uh, do stuff for me. So Bella picked going outside, and then Madison was like, fine, I'll stay inside. And so she, I made her make buttons. Awesome. So I had printed these out, and I had about 150 of these buttons. Wow. When I first got them, I had the, you know, the parts. And I, um, I had been making them, because so, I send one with each order. And I had been making them, like, as I needed them. So, finally, I was like, I'm just going to have her make them all. So, I printed out a ton more of the things. This is just the one bag. I have another bowl full of them. So, I made her do it. And she was like, my hand hurts. And I'm like, just finish. <laughs> I'm, like, so mean. Shad but then, labor. Cause, Woo. Because Bella wanted to do some, I, I printed out some of the Weasley Sister ones. So, I have a couple of those. Oh, that's a sit down. Awesome. I like this ones. Not that I don't oh. like yours, but. Yeah. So if you order from me and I know you uh, watch the podcast, I will send you a podcast one. Just let me know. 
if I know. Like, the people I know that watch us. Watch us. But sometimes I don't know because people's Etsy names are different. Right. Well, you can always put it in the comments. Yeah. So hey, I'm a fan know. of the podcast. Yeah, if you say that. Or someone says, I, I saw you from blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, cool. So, yeah. But, no, it was a lot of fun. So, let me tell you what I got. I didn't get much because I'm on the whole, like, yarn budget thing. Yeah. But there, there, sorry, crinkling, there was um, a lady, she was super nice, um, her name's Rebecca, uh, for Dusty Tree Soap. So she makes this soap locally, and it's um, all natural, and it's unscented, and it's vegan, but when she says unscented, she means she doesn't add scents. So the one I'm using currently, like, I couldn't wait to use it. So I, like, opened the one that I wanted. I only bought two. I bought one. The one that I'm using is cucumber and banana. So mm -hmm. what she does is she, like, purees the cucumber and the banana and then mixes it with the stuff and made soap. It smells so good. Wow. And it doesn't smell like, you know, like, you know when you go into Bath, bath and Body Works and you smell like the coconut or the cucumber thing? Yeah. So, did I say coconut? I meant cucumber. It's cucumber and banana. So she, like, and it smells, like, really good, and it's supposed to be, like, really moisturizing. Like, my, normally, this time of year, my skin is really dry, but it's not at all. That's awesome. And then I got this other one. It smells so good. Soy latte. Very cool. And it's, like, I just love how it looks. Oh, I can't pull it completely off, but see how it's like all marbled and stuff? Pretty. And it's really, really good. But she said she got into, um, here, I'll show you the other side of her so you can see the, her website. She's not on Etsy, she said. Well, go back a tiny bit. Okay. I'll read it to you. It's dustytreesoap.blogspot.com. Um, she said she's not on Etsy, but she does, like, the local, um, well, kind of local. In Ligonier, they have a, um, farmer's market, like, all the time, and it's, like, a really good one. Um, Ligonier's the one that's, like, 45 minutes away, so she does it there. Okay. And, um, she's really awesome. So, it, I mean, this, it's, looking at it's really close, so she does that, and she was like, you should come see it, but it, you know, and I like those natural soap things. Yeah. And then, I got from another farm, this one, uh, Fiddlehead Fibers, is what it's called, and I didn't, I thought I grabbed her, um, card, but I must have put it somewhere else. So I got some, so what they do is they take these, this, this, um, fiber, they get, like, fleece, and then they process it, and then, um, they just sell it to you, you know, it's clean, it's is not it processed. Just fleece, or, like, roving stuff? No, they don't do roving, they do, they take the fleece, and they, they, uh, clean it. So this is pole work. Mm, I'm a it little is jealous. So, so, so soft. I think pole work is my new favorite. It's been mine for a while. Like, I like it more than merino for softness and everything. So it's really nice. So it, I'm, you know, I grabbed, I just grabbed two ounces because I had only $10 and it was $6 for two ounces. So, which I thought was a very good deal. Yeah, it's not bad. For, because it was nice, it's like super clean and super soft. Yeah. So I just grabbed that. Um, but that's all I ended up getting. But they had like a bunch of different yarns. Um, and um, this one vendor I almost got, but I didn't. She had some awesome um, spindles, like supported spindles. And they were like etched on... Um, the clear, what is that clear stuff? It's plastic. It was plastic, like clear plastic. Thick. I know what it's, polyurethane. There we go. I was like, I can't think of the word. 
Yes. Um. So she had them, um, and she had some really cool ones. She had ones like the Time Lord, um, stamp sign thing. I forget what it's called, but she had some really cool ones. And she had one like that was like a really, um, bright yellow with a biohazard sign on it and I was just like that's hilarious so yeah but I didn't get that because I was trying to be good and I only let myself spend I took like $20 and I said that's all I'm gonna spend and I bought the soap and then I bought this and I only had four dollars left so I didn't get anything else that's good you should good restraint yeah it was very hard and then um I almost did a trade with the lady who had her booth across her mind, she hers was Gwen Aaron Fibers, and she does fiber. And I, you know, talked to her and asked her like where she got her stuff processed. She's from Ohio, and she said she told me some places because I might send my fleeces out to get processed, even though they're clean and everything. I just realized I don't have time to do the stuff I want to with them. Yeah. So, um, but she was like, we could trade. But I was like really loving her greens that she had dyed. But I'm like. I have like bags and bags of fiber to spin. So I like didn't trade because I felt really bad buying more. If yeah. that makes any sense. Like I need to spin the stuff I have before I get more. Except for Christmas because I'm totally getting a fiber club. <laughs> I hear you. So that's all about the indie man spin. Awesome. Sounds like a fun time. It was a lot of fun. I have not been to, like, a fiber or festival show, whatever, for a long time. And I'm since, like, starting to itch for it. Yeah, since, like, summer. Which doesn't seem... I mean, that's a long time. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, I want to go. Anyways. Um, I don't even know what I've been up to. Let me see. Well, I have other stuff to talk about. Oh, well, then go ahead. Um... So I was looking through my Etsy favorites because it's Christmas time. So I, and Etsy added a new thing. Like you can have more than one favorites list. Okay. So I did a favorites thing. Cause sometimes I just like the things that I think are cool, but I don't necessarily want them. Right. And then I may added stuff that I super duper want to a wish list list. And then I went through and I took out some of the stuff I really didn't care for anymore. Like I was like, you know, because like, sometimes you look at it and you're like, why did I have that favorited? <laughs> so I took those ones off. But while I was there, I found something I had favorited that I must have favorited to buy later. I haven't bought it yet. But it is a penguin soup knits. She is, I think it's penguin soup. She had a... Um, I'm going to it to tell you exactly. Oh, it's Hippie Penguin Fibers. She had, I remember, she had said something on Plurk a while ago when I was, like, actually going on Plurk and um, was wanting any podcaster she would um, hand dye sock yarn. So she made some for the Weasley Sisters. Okay. So I had it favorite, and it's, like, blues. I mean blues. It's browns and pinks. It's really pretty. I like it. And so... Um, I just found that and I think I'm going to, you know, buy it next time I have money to buy stuff. Very cool. But I thought I would share it with other people in case they want to. It's a pre-order, so she's probably going to have it regardless of time. Yeah. At least for a little bit. So if you want to go and check that out and support her because she made stuff specifically for us. That's awesome. Not that we asked. She was just like wondering if there was any other podcasts out there that would um, like, a something named after them. And I was just like, that'd be cool. You know, cause no one was, uh, like when I saw it, no one had commented on it. So I told her about our podcast. Very cool. But yeah, so I'll have to see the fiber looks really nice. Like it looks really pretty in the picture. I haven't gotten it or anything, so I, I can't tell you anything about it. So I'll have to do that. So as you may be thinking, I was talking about my baby shower gift. This baby gift. The yeah. baby shower was on Sunday. Oh. I didn't finish in time. I ended up. I was thinking late. it was like next Sunday. No, it was this past Sunday. <laughs> I was trying to finish in time for it, and I didn't get it. And then I was like, "Oh crap! I gotta go." 
So I got there, and I was like, I just like wrote in the card. I'm like, sorry, this is really lame, but your your baby gift is not finished. <laughs> but she she didn't mind. But um, so I have to finish the baby shower. But it was nice. Like they made it like a tea. Like they had the living room set up like a tea, and they had borrowed a bunch of like different teacups. So every place had a different teacup, and That's then we had like three different teas like a, a, a green it was like almost a jasmine flavor tea um for the carrot soup and then with the sandwiches we had this ginger peach ginger pear tea and it was super good that was my favorite tea and then for dessert we had this like raspberry tea so and i'm not a huge tea person but i really i thought it was fun like trying the different teas yeah yeah i rarely drink tea but once in a while <laughs> Good. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. It was nice, and um, she got a bunch of stuff. Like I said, she had ha had three, two boys before this, so this is her first girl. So she they she kind of went all girly, which is totally cool. So yeah, but I was like, I have to make my finish making the gift. <laughs> like there was a point in time when I was just like, forget it. I'm gonna go and just give her an IOU because <laughs> you could have gave it like half done. Yeah, that would have been nice. And everyone else, like, had, like, you know, gotten all the stuff that she wanted, which is That's nice. cool. Like, finished objects and stuff. So. But, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing, and then you can talk. So, the girls, for their birthday, they got a bunch of money. Madison's birthday's in September, and, and, and Bella's is in October for the watchers so they got a bunch of money and they were saving it for who knows what so we were thinking for christmas we were going to get an xbox 360 for them for christmas so then andy came up with this idea well why don't you guys get your the xbox with the money you saved and then for christmas you can get games so they were like okay so then on sunday they gave me money in envelopes and um, I went and got gift cards at Giant Eagle because you get gift cards, you know. And we we've, we've got them an Xbox, you know, with most of their own money. Like I had to pay a little bit extra. Luckily, I just had the show because I was like, because you forget, like when you go through to GameStop, they take the hard drive out, and normally it comes with a four gig hard drive, but they take it off of the thing. So if you buy a used one, you get it without a hard drive because huh. they want you to buy their 20 gig one which isn't a big deal because we bought one of those for 17 which normally they're way more yeah but it was kind of like that sucks so then we had to that and then I bought like the warranty because I'm like it's used I'll buy a warranty so we bought a warranty and then we bought a game and so they have the first game they wanted was Halo Reach because Madison friend friend has Halo okay. and then their friends that um, friends of ours have kids the same age. They have Halo too, and they can play online with them. <laughs> so we got it. But we're like, you don't have Xbox Live yet. You have to pay for that. So we're like, maybe that'll be your Christmas gift, an Xbox Live membership or something. Because yeah. you know it's like sixty bucks for a year or something. Yeah. So, um, so we got them that, and they are so excited. Like Bella. Good thing the door is closed. She wrote a letter to Santa already. Like, we have, like, coloring books. And in, in some of them, like the Christmas ones, they have, like, letters to Santa. So she wrote, and it's like, Dear Santa, I want an Xbox 360 Minecraft game. And then it goes, P.S. You're awesome. <laughs> Which was funny. So she, like, wrote that yesterday. I was like, is that the only game you want? Because I was going to take her on Wednesday when Madison's at youth week kill time instead of driving home and then driving back to get Madison we just yeah. kill time and usually we grocery shop but I was like I was going to take her into GameStop to look at all the games that they have yeah I still might because she's like you know like they want Minecraft but I'm like there's other games that Gabe are. will be very jealous he plays that all the time on his iPod all the time well you guys have Xbox yeah he's not allowed to play on it I don't know. It's Joe's. Oh. Well. Like, they don't have any Xbox games, the kids. They have Wii games. Yeah. 
Well, that's the main reason they wanted the Xbox. And they don't... And like, I was gonna say they don't play much um, games. Like now that it's winter, they will a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Same with the girl. Well, I've noticed since we started, we packed up most of their toys. Um. They, but we packed up most of their toys because they don't play with them, and also to like make the house look cleaner. Yeah. But all they play with, anyways, are their game, their iPods. Yeah. Or um, on the Wii. So I'm like, we have all these toys, what the heck is the point of all this clutter? But, um, but that's as they're getting older. Like, you know, Bella's nine, so she's like just about Gabe's age. You know, and Madison's 14, so as your kids get older, you're gonna notice it too. Like, they're just playing. They weren't playing with toys. Like, they kept their Monster High dolls because they play with those. Yeah. And of course they have stuffed animals because they're girls. The girls want um, Monster High girls, or Monster High dolls. They're awesome. I love them, personally. But, um, no. So, like, we just noticed, like, they don't do more than play games anyway, so. Yeah. But I'm, like, really strict. Like, I'll be like, okay, you have a half an hour. And I was actually plotting, like, making, like, an earning system where they, like, earn half an hour dollars or something where they can play a game for half an hour or whatever. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, go outside. And they're like, I don't want to. I'm like, go outside. Yeah. You know, like I make them go play outside because, you know, they're kids. They should play outside. Yes. But, anyways, I forget where I was going with that. I don't know. But there's other games. Like, we were thinking about getting, like, the, they have, like, a, a uh, back in the day Xbox thing where you get an Xbox and. A bunch of games, but all the games were like the shoot 'em up kind, which they like Halo because they're like shooting aliens or whatever. And, um, you know, Andy was okay with them playing with that. So then they wanted Minecraft too. And there's like so many more games that they can. I'm gonna let Bella look through and see. <laughs> so Andy was so proud of his idea to have them buy the Xbox because then. <laughs> We make out for Christmas, and we can actually get gifts for ourselves. <laughs> and I was like, "Good, I want a yard club. I want a fiber club." So it was funny. But they—that's they, all they've been doing. Like they like, like right now, like they have like maybe one more lesson of school. But I told them, I don't want you online. So go play Halo while I podcast. And they were like, "Okay." <laughs> so, but you know, sometimes you just need a break from school. So. Yep, yep. Anyways. Not that I kept them home. We, I homeschool them, for those of you watching that are new. So. <laughs> okay, now you can talk. Um, let me see. Okay, so last... I went to Green Bay on Friday. Um, well, to hang out with a friend. And to go thrift shopping up there because our Goodwill had horrible sweater selections for Swants. <laughs> I can't believe you drove to Green Bay for Swants. Well, it wasn't just for that. It was to visit with a friend. And we I like spent the night and then drove home the next day um, cool. with Katie. So it was fun. Um, and I found a couple sweaters um, that are going to make great Swants. So I was excited. Any about ugly Christmas sweaters? No, like they didn't have good selections. Like I really wanted to get like an awesome, like fair isle, like real sweaters. Like no one has that anymore, which is depressing. Like you have to make them. And I'm not gonna knit it just to like cut it up. Right. But I have been thinking of like just knitting pants. Cause it's so well, comfortable. In Elizabeth Zerman's opinion knitters yes. she has a thing. I know. That's what I was thinking of. Anyways, so while I'm in Green Bay, we're out to dinner at this awesome, like, Mexican restaurant. And I start getting these messages on my phone. My Facebook account was must have been hacked somehow. And someone had started up a new account and, like, had my picture and even had, like, my cover photo picture of Chloe with the tents from Rendezvous. And, like... So, like, I'm trying to, like, message all these people back, like, hey, guess what, this is up, or hey, did you start a new account, or blah, 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 like, all this stuff, and it, like, was blowing my phone up, like, it was, like, so hot from being used, and then, like, the 
the battery was like draining quite quickly and like I couldn't do anything because I didn't have my computer and my phone like I don't know if you can do much from your phone if some like to report things so like luckily I was able to like say if you get a friend request from me don't accept it and like report it please um so yeah so that was exciting yet depressing it like kind of irritated me but then I forgot about it Andy and I both got invitations to friend Jessica Gutosk that's what it was and it was like your picture with your glasses and he's like do I know that person I'm like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I was like he was being silly and I was like no someone hacked Jessica's uh Facebook he's like okay oh he's like should I add her I'm like no <laughs> Well, Trevor must have because they said they were friends with Trevor, our brother. Because um, he probably just saw your picture and didn't actually read it. I know, but like, hello, if you're friends with someone and they friend request you again, don't accept. Yeah, because like, that's what I said. I was like, well, you're already friends with her. You don't need to accept her again. Yeah. So, or at least like get a hold of someone just in case they did unfriend you. Like, try and like message them before friending them. Yeah. That's my advice. Um, but, so, like, my night kind of, like, took a downer after that, and I was all, like, irritated and grumbly. Oh, yeah. So then we went back to our friend's house, Fauna, and, um, she's like, I bought the first season of Doctor Who, and I was like, oh, cool, because I've been meaning to make Katie watch it, because she always, like, makes fun of me for it, right? I'm like, you'd totally like it if you watched it. So then we started watching it, and, like, two two episodes into it, she was hooked. So I was very excited. See, like, I couldn't get Andy to get hooked onto it. Well, boys are stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I was excited about that. Um, let's see, what else happened? Um, I ordered buttons for my sweater. Oh, cool. What are they supposed to look like? Um... They're supposed to look like owls. Oh, from <laughs> no. the Tangerine Designs? Yeah, from Tangerine Designs. Um, so I ordered, it only has four buttons on it, and I'm guessing it's, like, lower, you know, so I only had to get four. Uh, but now I was, like, I placed the order before I actually, like, started the band. So then I was, like, shoot, I kind of would have liked a fifth button, but I'm, like, eh, oh, well, I don't care. It's done. Well, how many, there's only four? Yeah, it doesn't go all the way up. It, like, buttons, it, like, starts here oh. and goes down. Because well, I, like, went and looked at the picture. I'm like, I guess I can deal with that. And, like, I never button top buttons anyways. Yeah. Unless that's the only thing you button and then, like, you let the, I don't know. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to trust the pattern instead of trying, trying to, like, you know, make it better. I'm just going to do it. So that's yeah. what I did. Um, okay, so do you remember me saying, I think I talked about in here that I ordered fiber for mom yes well along with that fiber I had also put like just solid colors in a fiber so I could use it to make Rolex right well a couple of them were on back order and I just assumed like they'd send the whole like or send what was ready yeah and they have not so I need to call them just to make sure like things are okay because like it's been a couple weeks now because I ordered it a week before mom's birthday which was the, the second. 2nd of November so it's been like what three almost four weeks now yeah I'm worried I would think that they probably are just waiting I know but then like so I go and look on like the account or my account from there from Paradise Fibers and like in the shipping thing it says it's processing but then like under what I, all I ordered it doesn't say that they're back ordered it says like this quantity and blah blah like I don't know maybe they're I need to call is all I'm saying yeah so ask me if I've called in okay. a day or two okay. um let's see so I want to join a photo a day thing that's oh. for November <laughs> that like November is almost over like I miss doing those those are fun I was almost thinking we could like make our own for December or something we totally should because the one that we did it was like supposed to be crafty pictures but it ended up being not crafty pictures right 
and we should make it be really crafty pictures. Yeah, so we can come up with the days and figure it out. So I think that would be fun, because I really like those things. December, maybe? What? For December? Yeah. We'll think okay. about it. We'll plan stuff. Um, okay, so the one I want to join is um, Cat Wade on Instagram. Her and another person. Cat Wade? K-A-T-W-A-D-E. Okay. Is her name. Or I, Instagram name. Uh, anyways, but the hashtag is um, K-A-T-K-A-T yarn P-A-D-C. Like picture a day challenge. Um, anyways, we'll post that on notes. So I want to join that. It's pretty crafty. Yeah. I like her. Um, anyways, I want to join it. I like put a picture up, but I just haven't done it. Like I've had the thought to do it and I might play catch up. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, okay. So TV shows, (coughs) I had gotten behind on watching shows because Joe got the new Call of Duty Ghosts game for Xbox. Yeah. Um, and like our nights are him playing his game and me like with my headphones on like listening to a book and knitting or whatever. That's how I got so far on my thing. But I have not been able to watch so I was like two to three like um, episodes behind on a lot of things and I'm like I cannot keep track of this any longer. So I decided to make a spreadsheet on Google Docs. And I did. And I'm watching like 13 to 15 shows a week. Like, I'm like, this is insane. What shows? Um, I don't know. I linked to it. Alright. So, lots of shows. On Sundays, I watch The Walking Dead, Once Upon a Time, an amazing race. And I don't watch them on Sundays. I have like different days that I watch things. Or like Katie records some and when I'm at her house I watch that's where I watch Survivor and Amazing Race. Amazing Race is one of my favorite, but we don't have I just started watching it, so it's cool. Um Okay, so then Mondays, Heart of Dixie and Sleepy Hollow. Tuesdays, the originals That's all that's on Tuesday. That's a sad day. Um, (laughs) Wednesday, Revolution, The Tomorrow People, and Survivor. Thursdays are Vampire Diaries, Rain, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, and Glee. Do you like that, Rain? Yeah, it's alright. Have you been watching it? I... Well, I got caught up on Vampire Diaries, so then I caught up to, on this season. I'm actually maybe one or two episodes behind, but they keep five on the website. Yeah. So, um, I'm watching like that, and they always advertise for it, and I'm like, maybe. I don't it's know. interesting. It's, a, you know, a few shows in. Um, okay, so then on Friday, and then I watch Dracula, which is a new show. Um... But yeah, it's a lot of shows. That is. Like, see, most of those shows, I'm still, like, a season behind because I watch them on Netflix. Yeah. But if, I was going to say, if you could catch up, you could start watching all the new seasons because I think everything is pretty much online. Like, Except for The Walking Dead. You have to, like, have a membership. Wow. That's, like, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, and I also watch The Talking Dead, which is the talk show right after The Walking Dead. Yeah. It's so pretty we just cool. Wait. What? We just wait. Yeah. For The Walking Dead, at least. The Survivor, that would be fun to watch. Not Survivor. The Amazing Race. That's my favorite. You should see. It's probably on somewhere, I would assume. Most exactly. things, except for HBO, most things you can watch online. Um. So, yeah. So, I made myself a spreadsheet, and then I have, like, a column that says last watched and then I put the date in so that when I go either online or on our DVR I can be like I've seen this one but I need to watch this one and this one or whatever yeah because ladies brunch is coming up and 
I'm not gonna be able to keep up for that week. I know for sure. So you better catch up this week. And yeah. Well, I just did. I spent like Saturday night, I think, and then all day Sunday, or not all day, but like a lot of Sunday and Sunday night watching through different shows. Um, I I still have I have to do like one show of a couple different shows, and I'll be up to date. So I did start watching that Alice in Wonderland one. Yeah. The first one? Okay, I watched the first one. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. I didn't really get into it. And then I watched the first one of the Sleepy Hollow. Maybe the second one, too. Oh, they're, they're pretty good. They're shows. Like, it works. Something to watch. But I've been, like, watching a lot of stuff on Netflix. Like, um, they put on this really cool, like, 19... 20s, 30s era, like, mystery, like, this woman is a detective, and I like watching it, because their, like, outfits are totally awesome. That's cool. And then there's, um, I forget, it's called Miss Somethings, Mysteries, and then there's, um, I've been catching up on Bones on Netflix, because that's my favorite. And then I actually am re-watching from the sixth season, Doctor Who. Okay. To, like, just catch up on that. Because, actually, they're, they should be updating last season soon, I would think. I was say, the 50th anniversary episode is on the 23rd. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I am also excited, except for I won't get to see it for, like, ever. Well... When will you be here? I'll record it and you'll be able to see it. Well, I mean, I'm still like a season behind, though, I think. Oh. Hmm. Okay, never mind then. I have to make sure that's recorded. <sighs> Anyways. Well, that's it. That's about it. So, have a good week. Sorry, we're like totally rambling. It's been a long episode, I'm sure, and not much to show for it. I, I hope that I finish my stuff. I'm almost, I'm doing the arms. You will finish your stuff. Think positive. All right, until next week. We'll see you later. Bye.